Hey bag ladies and bag dudes, I'm Sarah Lawson from So Sweetness, and today I'm gonna show you how to make this easy cork zippered pouch. So this project just needs one nine inch by seven inch piece of cork fabric, a seven inch zipper, and this project comes together in about 10 minutes. So it's really fast and easy, and the edges of this pouch are left raw. So that means you can make it in other fabrics too, like glitter, vinyl, or leather. So grab your supplies and let's get started. Okay, before we begin, you'll need to cut out the pattern piece for the wallet. And so you'll need to measure that one inch square on the page to make sure that it measures exactly one inch. You don't want it to measure slightly smaller or slightly larger, it should be exactly one inch. And I always recommend opening up template pages using Adobe Reader, so not in a web browser or anything else, and you'll want to print at actual size. Okay, so let's go ahead and get this cut out. You're going to cut to the outside of the thick black line, and let me show you what it looks like after cutting out. And I left this inner portion uncut just because I wanted to show you how I personally cut mine out. I just make a little slit right down the center, and then that makes it easier to cut this piece out. Okay, so when you're finished cutting this piece out, you want to take out your 9 inch by 7 inch piece of cork fabric, and we're just going to trace this template on the wrong side of the fabric, and I'm just going to use a friction marker to do that. You can use a chalk as well, something removable that you can use on the wrong side of the fabric. Okay, so I'm going to use this great grass green color of cork fabric. I highly recommend making this project out of a solid color of cork rather than pattern cork like straw or fennel. The reason is that the top corners of this pouch are kind of sharp and if you use one of the textured corks you might get some cracking in the top corner so that's why I'm using a solid color of cork here. So I'm going to lay the pattern piece on the wrong side of the fabric and I'm going to use my friction pen and just draw around the outer curves as well as that center of the project as well. And you'll just have really tiny scraps left over if you're keeping track of colors for your swatch card. Okay, and I'm going to draw on the inside as well. Okay, I'm going to use my fabric scissors to cut this out. And same thing for cutting that inner portion out. Again, I'm going to make a slit in the middle with my scissors and then cut the rest out. Okay, so now it's time to insert the zipper. So I only had a really long zipper in my stash, and that's okay because we'll be trimming it down. I'm going to use Dritz Wash Away Wonder Tape to install that zipper. This is a quarter of an inch wide tape, and it's double sided, which makes it really handy for inserting a zipper. So I'm going to stick down the first edge of the Dritz Wash Away Tape along the long edge of the zipper, and you only need as much tape as there is the opening. Okay, and I'm also going to use my fingers to give it a bit of pressure so that I can remove the paper. Okay, so that tape just peels back and reveals the second side of the adhesive, and then we can go ahead and stick that to the wrong side of the fabric. 
Okay, so that's the area with the adhesive, and I'm just gonna go ahead and with the zipper right side facing up, lay that opening directly on top, and you should see equal amounts of the zipper tape showing on the top and the bottom. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and take this over to the sewing machine. I'm actually just using my regular sewing machine foot. Um, if you feel like your foot is a little bit wide, you, you can feel free to use your zipper foot. I'm gonna sew an eighth of an inch away from the edge of the fabric. When I come to about this side, I'm going to stop with the needle down, lift the presser foot up, and then zip that head past the foot and finish the rest of this rectangle. Okay, now we're going to flip to the wrong side of the zipper and trim the zipper to within about a quarter of an inch of the stitching line on either side. And if you prefer to do so, you can use a bit of seam sealant to reinforce those clipped ends. And that just prevents the zipper from fraying. Okay, so now I'm going to bring the fabric wrong sides together so that the bottom and sides meet and just go ahead and put some wonder clips on there. We're going to start sewing an eighth of an inch away from the top edge and then come back around to the opposite end, stopping about an eighth of an inch away from the opposing corner. Okay, I'm ready to sew. Okay, and that's all there is to it. Your project's all finished. As you can see, this is a really fast and easy sew, and it would be great for party favors or when you just need a little bit of something to stick some goodies inside. Thanks so much for sewing along with me. I can't wait to see your finished cork zippered pouch. If you make this project, be sure to share a photo of it in my Facebook group. And remember, if I can do it, so can you.